Hi, I'm Dr. Dwayne Wood from Diabetes and Endocrine Wellness Center and the Light Away in Huntsville, Alabama. I treat patients with hormonal dysfunction and I'm sometimes also called a diabetes doctor because the majority of patients I treat are patients who have diabetes mellitus, commonly called diabetes. Today I want to talk about COVID-19 and I want to answer the question, I have diabetes mellitus. What if I get COVID-19? At the time of this taping, according to the Centers for Disease Control, there have been over 5.5 million people diagnosed with COVID-19, and over 170,000 deaths have been attributed to the virus. By now, most of you know that there are certain populations that are at increased risk for complications from COVID-19. The most commonly known are those patients that are elderly. In fact, 8 out of 10 patients that are reported to have died from COVID-19 were over 65. Other populations that are at increased risk include those patients who have chronic kidney disease, COPD, asthma, hypertension, those that have coronary artery disease, and of course, diabetes mellitus. We believe the COVID-19 virus is spread from person to person by respiratory droplets. But one of the most common questions I get, however, is as a person who has diabetes mellitus, am I at risk for contracting the COVID-19 virus? My answer to that question is no, you are not at increased risk. We believe that your risk of contracting the virus is the same as the risk of the general population. Where we do see increased risk in patients with diabetes mellitus is that they are at risk for increased complications should they contract the virus. Why do patients who have diabetes mellitus have worse outcomes should they contract COVID-19? Those patients already have some comorbid conditions that put them at risk. Next, diabetes impairs the body's immune system, so it decreases the body's ability to fight infection. Viruses also increase inflammation within the body. The body's inflammatory process is normally used to bring helper cells and other cytokines to a particular area to fight an infection. And with the diabetic, where they are prone to have worse healing processes, this can set up a situation that goes awry. So what can you do as a patient who has diabetes mellitus in this COVID-19 environment? Number one, make sure that you are keeping good blood sugars. Your best way of preventing complications should you contract the COVID-19 virus is make sure your blood sugars are in your target range. Number two, check your blood sugars frequently and treat them as instructed by your healthcare team. If you are ill, make sure that you contact your healthcare provider and that you follow their directions. Make sure you have your emergency diabetic kit with you. Work on boosting your immune system and take care of your emotional health. Boosting your immune system has several components. One, you want to make sure that you're eating a healthy, balanced diet. You should eat wholesome foods that are nutrient dense, such as whole grains, high fiber leafy green vegetables, colorful fruits and vegetables that are loaded with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. You should avoid processed refined carbohydrates and be sure you are drinking sufficient quantities of water. Exercising. A lot of people are not able to go to the gym like they're used to, but you can walk around your neighborhood, take time with your family. If you are not used to exercising, start slow. Begin walking just around your neighborhood. Do some work in the garden and then increase, work that up to a more vigorous exercise program. And then get good rest. We recommend about seven hours of sleep per night. Take care of your emotional health. In many cases, you can't change the environment in which you find yourself, but you can change how you respond to that environment. Find something to do. Go walking, go bike riding, 
Find a hobby to do, something that you've always wanted to do and have not had the time. If you find that you are an anxious person and that you tend to worry, learn how to meditate. And if you find yourself in those situations where you're becoming anxious, excuse yourself from where you are, take a minute, step back, meditate, and then come back. You are much better able to focus if your mind is not worried and anxious. So much has changed in our lives. Many of us are telecommuting, our children have virtual school, we're isolated from our family and friends. Our anxiety has increased because we're uncertain about jobs and about what the future holds. I want you to know though that we will get through this. What we have to do is stay safe. When the pandemic is over, we want to make sure that our family and our friends, our neighbors, our neighborhoods, our country are here and safe so that we can enjoy being together. This is Dr. Dwayne Wood from Diabetes and Endocrine Wellness Center and The Light Away, educating the public for a better you.